So we all know that if you're gaming and your game is lagging, so you check task manager and your CPU is running at 100% while your GPU is chilling at 50, we all know that's because your game is CPU intensive, right? But what's the difference in a CPU and a GPU intensive game and how can I tell? I like to think of it like this. Is your game graphically intense? Is the shadows and the light reflections so realistic that you're immersed? Is there an ultra ray tracing option? This one's, this one's important. Lastly, is it a story game? Honey, if it is, you got yourself a GPU intense game, baby. These are games like Red Dead Redemption. I can't think of any other, hang on a sec. Cyberpunk, and honestly, most story games because those are usually the best looking games. Think about Detroit Become Human. When it comes to a CPU intensive game, think about it. Your CPU is the central processing unit. It has to process all the things going on, like the trees, the NPCs, whatever else. A huge example, in my opinion, is Fortnite. Like Fortnite, you'd think it's kind of graphically intense, but you can turn on the graphics and your game basically looks the same. A lot of people actually consider Fortnite to be a GPU intensive game, but in my opinion, it's CPU intensive. There's a lot of trees, bushes, other players running around, things of that nature happening, things where your CPU has to process what's kind of going on in that realm. Next time you're lagging in game and you check task manager, now you know. Or now you know you need a new component because your GPU or CPU sucks.